Hi everybody, today's focus, I am bacteria testing bath towels to see how often we should wash them. This video is a viewer request. I had two viewers request this. Miranda Ryan said, love your content. I would also be interested in bacteria on bath towels used once versus twice. And Mixalina loves glitter says, idea for a video. There are a lot of people who wash their bath towels after every use and people who reuse their bath towels for a week or so. I'd love to see the bacterial growth or lack thereof on towels depending on how many times they're used. Thanks for all you do, love these. And that comment was liked 126 times. So that's what we're gonna do today. So to start this bacteria testing on my bath towels, the first thing I do is choose a bath towel and I'm going to wash it like I normally would. I'm going to wash the towel on my towel setting with a Tide Pod and Lysol laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener compartment. When it's done washing, I'm going to put it in my dryer. I'm going to dry it for one hour on high heat. Now the hope is after using the Lysol laundry sanitizer and the drying on the high heat for an hour, my bath towels should have no bacteria on them. So what I'll do is take a petri dish similar to this guy here, and I'm gonna swab my bath towel after it comes out of the dryer. I'll probably test in a couple of different places and I'll mark them so that I know what I'm testing on my towel. So that way we'll be able to see if there is any bacteria on my towel before we even get started with this test. Then what I'll do is I'm gonna take a shower in the evening and I will dry myself with this towel. There will be no camera footage of this. Just trust me, I'm taking a shower and I'm drying myself with this towel. Then the next morning I'll take some sterile swabs and I'll swab the bath towel and place those on some petri dishes. Then that night I'll dry off again using the same bath towel. I will try to do this for a week. We'll be able to see how much bacteria is on my bath towel first when it just comes out of the dryer ready to go nice and clean and then each day thereafter for a week. Actually, you know what I might do? I might purchase a new towel, just go to Target and buy maybe a white towel so I can take a Sharpie and mark out spots that I'm gonna swab. That way I don't have to Sharpie mark my gray towel that I like to use. I, I have a bunch of these gray towels that I really like. I love this color and I don't really want to mark Sharpie all over them, but I don't mind grabbing just one white towel and just using that. Actually, I might have one in the house. I'm sorry if this is getting too long and confusing. I'm going to take a white towel, whether one that I have at home or a brand new one from the store. I'm going to mark it with Sharpie so that I have specific places in which I will swab consistently each time. That's what I will do. So let's see how much bacterial growth we get on a bath towel after a week of being used. Now for some results. 
Before I get into the results, I do want to say thank you very much to my viewers for being patient with me while I've been absent from YouTube. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I did make a video about my absence that's on my channel. I'm sure you can find it on the page. So the footage for this video and all the testing I did happened in late August, early September. But I had a family member that had a medical emergency on September 11th, so I was out of state and I wasn't able to do any extra follow-up testing. That there are definitely more tests that I wanted to conduct with this experiment, but I wanted to give you these results for now and I can always go back to adding extra tests later. So let's start with what I've got. Let's start with the control sample. So this sample was of the bath towel after it was washed and dried in my dryer before I used it. So we can see that there's no bacterial growth on the towel after washing and drying and before I used it. So let's look at day one. So what I did remember is I used the bath towel the night before when I took my shower and then I hung it up to dry and I'm swabbing it now at nine in the morning the next morning. Day one, section one and two, no bacterial growth. Day one, section three and four, no bacterial growth. Let's move on to day two. Day two, section one and two, no bacterial growth. Day two, section three and four, no bacterial growth. Day three, section one has three tiny bacterial colonies. Section two has no growth. Section three and four have no growth. Day four of using this towel after the shower. Section one and section two, no growth. Section three and section four, no growth. Day five, section one and two, no growth. Section three and four, no growth. Day six of using the same towel. Sections one and two, no growth. In section three, we have about a dozen small bacterial colonies. In section four, no growth. Day seven, section one, we can see some growth there. Section two, there's no growth. Section three, there's no growth. Section four is kind of hard to see here, but there are actually about half a dozen very small bacterial colonies. Day eight, section one, no growth. Day eight, section two, we do have two bacterial colonies. Day eight, section three, no growth. Day eight, section four, we do have one bacterial colony. Day nine, now this is where things get interesting. Day nine, section one, we have about a dozen bacterial colonies. Day nine, section two, we have a little under a dozen colonies. Day nine, section three, we have about 20 bacterial colonies. In day nine, section four, we have about a dozen bacterial colonies. The samples here too, we can see lots of different types of bacteria, which is really interesting to see. Day 10, section one, there's about half a dozen bacterial colonies. Day 10, section two, also about half a dozen bacterial colonies. Day 10, section three, has about 20 bacterial colonies. Day 10, section four, has about three bacterial colonies. Day 11, Section one has about a dozen colonies. Section two has about a dozen colonies. Day 11, section three had about 20 colonies. And day 11, section four had about 20 colonies. So I had intended on doing day 12, 13, and 14. However, I had that medical emergency in my family, so I was unable. So the furthest I was able to test using the towel every day and then swabbing it the next morning was 11 days. So while I was doing this test, I did test a few more things. I knew that I was gonna be super careful using my towel for this test. I knew I was only gonna use the white towel after I came out of the shower, I was gonna fold it the exact same way and hang it up on the towel rack the exact same way every day. I was not gonna use that towel when I need to dry my hands after the bathroom. It was only gonna be used after I came out of the shower. But I wanted to test something else. So starting at day one, I washed my family member's towels and I just told them, hey, don't wash them this week. I got it, I'll take care of it. But I didn't keep washing them. I just left their towels there for a full week. I was curious to see how much bacteria would grow on a towel that's just being hung up in any old way and also without knowing that, you know, I'm going to be doing a bacteria test. So my family had no idea that I was going to be swabbing their towels after one week of use. So let's look at bath towel number one. I did just take one sample per towel just because I had intended on doing more studies with this. Let's just take a look at what I've got. So bath towel number one, after one week of being in the bathroom, shows a tremendous amount of bacterial growth. 
Now remember, this wasn't a control setting at all. This was just a towel that was in the bathroom. They could have used it for the shower, they could have used it after they washed their face, they could have used it after they brushed their teeth, wiped their mouth, or their hands. It was just a regular used towel. Let's look at bath towel number two after a week of use and we can definitely see a lot of bacterial growth. Let's look at bath towel number three after a week of use. We've seen dozens of bacterial colonies here, lots of growth on that petri dish. And let's look at towel number four after being used for a week. So this one I did do two samples of. I think this must have been the first one I did before I decided just to do one sample. And we can definitely see there's a lot of bacterial growth on that dish. It almost looks like the bath towels after one week of people not knowing I was gonna be swabbing them was almost comparable to my very controlled only using it for the shower after about 10, 11, 12 days. And I did one other test while I was doing these other tests and that was of a hand towel. So I took the hand towel that's in my half bath, which is on my first floor near my dining room and living room. That bathroom is used a lot during the day. So I put a clean hand towel in the bathroom and I swabbed it days one, two, and three. This hand towel almost always felt wet. Um, I usually change out hand towels at least daily in my house, but this one I was like, well, we'll just let me just see if I can go three days with this one. I swabbed the outside of the towel and then I lifted it up and swabbed the inside of the towel. So that's gonna be sample one and sample two. So hand towel day one, section number one has a lot of growth, dozens of bacterial colonies, and section number two just has three bacterial colonies. Let's look at hand towel day two. Section one, which was the front, had about a dozen bacterial colonies, and section two, which was the back, had two. Let's look at day three of the hand towel. Section one has a tremendous amount of growth there. That is really crazy. That's a lot of bacterial growth. And section two has a dozen or so bacterial colonies. And one more day, I let this one go four days. So hand towel day four, section one again has a tremendous amount of bacteria on it. And section number two has about a dozen colonies. So I realize there are other iterations that I can test during this bath towel test, but this is what I got done before my family member had their medical emergency and had to keep driving out of state. So if there are other iterations that you want to see me do, put in the comments section. When I'm able to do a part two, I'll take those comments into consideration. But what I learned is if I just use my own bath towel for only showering purposes and I hang it up to dry nicely in my bathroom, I can go about nine days before I'm gonna have a tremendous amount of bacterial growth on my bath towel. Now that might not be the same for everyone. Remember, this is just what's happening in my home. Maybe the bacterial load on my body is less than someone else's, right? This is just a test of the results of what happens in my home. This is in perfect laboratory conditions. You guys all know that. I'm just showing you some real world results from my home. And when we looked at bath towels that were used for about a week, they also had some bacterial growth on them. And again, remember those bath towels from my family members, they could have been used for anything in the bathroom. Shower, washing your face, wiping your mouth after brushing your teeth, hands after the bathroom, whereas my towel was only used for when I came out of the shower and that was it. And from my results looking at my hand towels, I agree that hand towels need to be changed at least daily um, or at least every two days. It was day three that we really got a tremendous amount of bacterial growth. I think that the hand towels probably just don't get a chance to dry thoroughly like my towel did in the bathroom. So this was a really fun test to conduct and I do look forward to seeing any other suggestions that you have for a part two. Again, there were some other things that I wanted to test but just due to the constraints of what I had to do in my life, this is what I got done. I also wanna thank you very much again for your patience with me as I've been absent. I'm not certain when I'll be able to get another video made. Um, what I have to do is time it so that I can maybe get the footage in the bacteria testing done on a week that I'm gonna be home long enough to be able to see results and take pictures of results, you know, before I have to go back and um, help my family member with their doctor appointments. Um, I guess I am like 
understanding now the meaning of the sandwich generation. I am right here and I'm taking care of, you know, elderly family members and I'm taking care of kids. Uh, one of my kids actually looks like they're gonna have to have a surgery soon. We have a consult in December. So there is a lot going on. I'm taking care of a lot of people as well as trying to take care of myself. But I also love my viewers and I love doing my testing. I'm trying to add that back into my life too because it's something that I enjoy. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I am not accepting any product being mailed to me right now just because of the uncertainty of how long it could take me to get the results to them. I've had to decline so many product sponsorships. There were some really good ones too that I really wanted to take, um, but it's just not the right time in my life right now. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.